Michigan I'll be the name Faithful God You are worthy to receive All the praise for you alone Take the Holy Stop you for a moment But you are going to research And you are going forward I say you are researching You are going ahead I say you are researching You are moving forward You are researching You are going higher You are working before But now you will be flying In the name of Jesus Christ They have been stopping you But you research You research you are going forward. Give that never Christ. Having a new song for you because God is about to turn it again. I say God is about to turn it again. I say God is about to turn a life for good again. I say He's about to turn a heart again. I say God is about to turn a marriage again. He's about to turn a heart again. He's about to turn a bit again. In your favor, if you receive shout and receive it, shout and receive it, shout and receive it, God will turn your life your favor. He will turn your home your favor. He will turn your marriage your favor. You will not die young. Amen. I said you will not die young. Amen. You won't die now. Amen. People like you don't die of cancer. Amen. People like you don't die of accident. Oh, yeah. People like you don't die in the river. Amen. People like you don't die of aircraft. People like you don't go down without his name being mentioned everywhere. Amen. I speak as a prophet of the Almighty. I have every negative thing that the devil has prepared for you. Every good thing that you feel about your life, every good thing that you feel about your health, every good thing that you feel about your health, if your heaven is louder, you shall fall upon your head. 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 We are the of Jesus Christ. Praise God. It's your friend again, Pastor FD Ademola. I want to thank the Almighty God for giving me another privilege to speak to you. And I believe at the end of today's cast, your life will never remain the same. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for yet another privilege to speak your word. Speak to your people. Touch them where they need to be touched. Deliver them where they need to be delivered. Use me as your oracle. Let me speak directly to their situation. Let their life witness the divine turn around after this cast. Whatever that need to get out of their life, Father, drive them out of their life. Separate your children from every pain of the past. Lord, I decrease while you increase in me. Thank you, Father, because you are the whole Thank you for giving us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, today I will be speaking of what I've captioned. They must leave. They must leave. And I'll be using the book of Psalm 18, verse 44. The Bible says, as they hear my voice, they will obey me, and the stranger will flee out from their hidden places. As they hear my voice, they shall obey me, and every stranger that has been hidden will flee out of where they are hiding. They do is kakulo buko nidezida. Today is a special day for you. Today is a special day in your life. Today is a special day in your family. Today is such a day in your body because the Almighty God is trusting me to speak to you that every stranger in your life, in your business, in your family, in your marriage is getting out today in the name of Jesus Christ. Friend, you may not understand what stranger is. Friend, you will not know what I'm talking about. I have seen husband and wife, they just woke up one day and the hatred started. Without nothing, they just ate each other. Without nothing, they were seeking to go differently. Because a stranger has entered their marriage. Because a stranger has stepped in into their home. Because a stranger has had a way in their life. I have seen people saying, I just woke up and I saw that there's something moving all over my body. I can feel a lump moving around. It will move to my chest. It will move to my elbow. It will move to my nail. It will move to my heart. It will move to my leg. Without knowing what it is. That is the stranger that you have to leave. That is the stranger that the devil has put in your life. That is the stranger that the devil has put in your body to disturb your health, to disrupt God's purpose for your health. But that stranger will live today in the name of Jesus Christ. I have said people that just woke up one day, they just went to work without doing anything, without offending their boss. And the boss just said, it is time for you to leave. We are giving you out for no reason. For no reason, they just fire them. For no reason. They just drive them out. Those are strangers we have to cast out. I have seen people that just wake up one day and they just found out that their mind is not working correctly. 
those are strangers that the devil has put your life. Anything that is contrary to the will of God in your life, it is a stranger that will need to bounce out. You have a business that will be flourishing before. Suddenly, your business just starts going down. A stranger has stepped in. A stranger has stepped in. A stranger has stepped in. Your children that have been obeying you before, suddenly they started disobeying you. Stranger has stepped in. Strangers has came in. That's what we need to stop. That is what we need to cast out. And I believe by the power and the ocean of God upon you today, those strangers will leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. Those strangers will leave you in the name of Jesus Christ. Those strangers will leave your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Those strangers will leave your home in the name of Jesus Christ. Those strangers will leave your business. Those strangers will leave your health. Those strangers will leave your children. Those strangers will leave your marriage. Those strangers will leave you alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, when they hear my voice, they shall obey me. They shall flee from their hidden places. I speak to every stranger in your life, every stranger in your home, every stranger in your marriage, every stranger in your head. Repa katulo dunida, le dus malus ke derosa, rapo koto le ke debo, le dus ke nebo, tane nobo ke desa, rakata kata le de, rembudo zetu ne katu nebo sate, yaga du nebo kati le de, repa tolo ke nebo, ye dus pati nebo sate, remba lo kondo dunido, rekata kata le de de de, rekuto lo ke de de de, mazun lo kren kate de de. Every stranger, live right now in the name of Jesus in your life and in your health, in your marriage. I command them to live right now. I am standing on the word in the book of Psalm 18, verse 44. He said, When you hear my voice, you shall obey me. When you hear my voice, you shall flee. When you hear my voice, you shall leave. When you hear my voice, you shall get out. I come against you. With the name of Jesus Christ, I come against you with the power of the Almighty. Get out right now. Get out right now. Get out right now. In the life of the children of God, there. you don't have a place to live there. You don't have a place there. I command to get out. 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 In their head, there. get out. In their mind, there. get out. In their family, get out. In their marriage, there. get out. In the life of their children, get out. Rebo koto 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 la kuto le tutete le ba kuto le dusi le dus ma koto le kete le dus me rekete. I command you, get out, get out, get out. You don't have a place there. You should get out right now. You don't have a place in their life. Get out right now. You don't have a place in their destiny. You don't have a place in their business. You don't have a place in their home. You don't have a place in their marriage. Le kronko toko to rapa katele tushi le tu nebo kusote rapa koto le tushite le tu nebo koto leke rakoto le guru shike ye tush me koto le rapo koko 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 le male tutu le pa koto le te ma tu nebo koto re. It is time for you to enjoy your freedom. It is time for you to enjoy your freedom. Me bale koto 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 rapo koto le koto ne dus pote lebo. It is time for them to stop disturbing your life. In the name of Christ, it is time to enjoy your peace, your joy. Enjoy your peace. Take your glory. Take your destiny. In the name of Christ, they have been disturbing you for so long. They have been disturbing your home for so long. They have been disturbing your health for so long. I am handing it today. In the name of Christ, I am handing it today. In your life, I am putting a hand to every stranger. In your home, I am putting a hand to every stranger in your marriage i am putting a hand to every stranger in your business i am putting a hand to every stranger in the name of shaka everyone that wants to be put to shame the same stranger to your life to disturb your destiny the same stranger to your health to make you unhealthy the same stranger to your marriage to destabilize your home the same stranger to your vision to disturb your vision the same stranger to your finances to bring you down
now. La pro koto nekete. Yeah, what God say? He say I'm moving for your sake. Eh? I'm going against every stranger. La koto be tu se katani. Le pro koto nekete go. Mazuno pro kete. He say it's time for you to enjoy. Take back your head. Eh? Take back your glory. Take back your business. Eh? La pa koto lo koto. Le pa tu ne pro koto. E poto ne krakete. Wherever they are seated, eh? throw that arrow. Wherever they are seated, eh? fire that arrow. I hear God say they are being scattered right now. In the name of God, they are scattered right now. In the name of God, every arrow fire into your life. Eh? I retrieve them. I throw them back to their camp. Eh? In the name of God, I retrieve eh? every evil arrow. I retrieve them. Every evil arrow in your life, eh? in your home, eh? in your marriage. Eh? In the name of God, I retrieve them and I throw them back to the camp of your enemy. In the name of God, they are throw sickness to your life. Eh? I retrieve those sickness. Eh? I throw it back to their camp. Eh? In the name of God, at the oracle of God, eh? I am speaking on behalf eh? and God is speaking for you. God is interceding for you. In the name of God, I am handing every stranger, every pain in your life, eh? every shame in your life eh? is handed to them. In the name of God, God has sent me to you to deliver you. God has sent me to you to retrieve every pain in your life. Eh? He has sent me to you to retrieve every shame from your life. Eh? He has sent me to you to deliver from that sickness. Eh? He has sent me to you to set your mind free. Every pain in your life eh? is handed right now. In the name of God, your shame has just left you. Your pain has just left you. Your sickness has just left you. In the name of God, you will prove your doctor wrong. Eh? In the name of God, by what God is going to do your health, eh? you will prove every doctor wrong. Eh? In the name of God, your shit will put them wrong in this language. Rapo koto letine bo, rapo koto letine ni. Date nete, stranger have just left right now. Ne ikundo bo, zinda kate, repo koto. You have just received your deliverance. In the name of God, you have just received your blessing. You have just received your health. You have just received your home back. You have just received peace in your marriage. You have just received your joy right here. Ma lo koto, go and enjoy your peace. Go and enjoy your business. La pro koto letine bo, rapo koto koto. Ne dus kate le bo seke, rapo koto koto le. La dune katu le bo kate, re te 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 te. It is permanent in your life. In the name of Christ, they won't come back to your life anymore. You have just received your deliverance. Heaven has told me you are free. Every stranger in your life has just left. What you were not able to do before, you have received the grace to start doing them. What you have not able to do before, the grace to start doing them has just come upon your life. What you have not been enjoyed before, the grace to enjoy your life in fullness has just come upon your life. The grace to enjoy your home and your marriage has just come in your life. I just came upon your life. Strangers that have been disturbing your life, that have been disturbing your health. I hear God say they have left you. Every of your enemy, they are all an enemy of God. Pharaoh was an enemy to God. You can see how he held his life. Nebuchadnezzar was an enemy of God. You can see how he ended his life. Herod was an enemy of God. You can see also how he ended his life. I knew every of your enemy they will end in shame. Every of your enemy, they will end in destruction. Every of your enemy, they will end going down. Every enemy of your marriage, they will end in shame. Every enemy of your health, they will end up in destruction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Friends, I will not end this car without asking if you are born again. Believe in me. Jesus has been waiting for you. Give your life to Jesus. And you will see your life turning around again. There are many things you have been missing because you are far from him. Get close to Jesus. Look for a Bible believing church around you. Get yourself involved. Do the work of God. And God will be back. If you live in the neighborhood of end of in Netherlands, you can be part of our ministry. We are ministry that believe in giving. We believe God is a giver. He gave us his only victorious son that you and I may live. We have been doing this across nations. Our impact has been felt across four African nations. In Zimbabwe, in Uganda, in Syria alone, and equally in Nigeria, we have been giving hope to the hopeless. We have been giving answer to someone's prayer. How to someone's prayer be answered without you being God? God say, I've come down to deliver my children. But God sent me this. God is sending you today to go and trust you. He's sending you today to save his soul. If you do this, you will see the amazing testimony that will follow it. It is not how many breaths you take, it's how many people that take care of breath. Let someone be able to say, you are the one that make it happen. God bless you.